We are already working right now with housing providers to identify projects that can be completed immediately. The Alberta government is investing an additional $16 million into affordable housing. Minister of Seniors, Community and Social Services Jason Nixon making the announcement Wednesday. He says the funding will be used to revitalize outdated housing projects so they can be brought back into use across the province. There is a lot of housing sitting online right now that uh, needs maintenance, that is not able to be able to use to be able to help deal with the circumstances that we face face right now. By 2031, the provincial government is planning to invest some $9 billion into affordable housing, but Albertans won't see benefit from that funding until years down the road. Given the be here now reality of the housing crisis, Wednesday's announcement is designed to provide faster relief. We must focus on capital maintenance and renewal, in particularly targeted at units that may not be available right now, but with a little bit of maintenance could come online and be able to help with the housing situation that we face right now. The investment is projected to create affordable living options in the hundreds. It comes as the City of Calgary prepares to review its housing strategy Thursday where the public will have a chance to provide feedback. Nixon says he remains open to working with the city on future projects, but based on city recommendations, there are some areas where the provincial government won't budge. Almost everything is on the table. I will say um, one thing that is not is rent control, and I know that is clearly uh, in, in those recommendations. And full stop, the Alberta government will not be going down the path of rent control. Alberta's NDP, meanwhile, asserting that the city of Calgary will not be able to solve this crisis alone. They are calling for a substantial investment from the province in supporting the city's housing squeeze. In Calgary, Tate Lakecraft, City News.